pills are amazing. They add a little size and shed fat. And they're easy on the liver. Hmm. Body in a bottle. Precisely. Also known as cheating. Cheating is a bit dramatic, says the kettle to the pot. It's more like assisting. Isn't that your job as a trainer to assist? And I have never cheated, thank you very much. <clears throat> okay, once like 10 years ago, so it doesn't even count at this point. Well, sometimes the assistant needs a little assisting. Trainers are the first thing people come back on. Mm. So spending your money on steroid pills was a good idea. But here's the thing, I can totally do porn now. Seriously, I've been thinking about this. Life is too short. I don't want to wake up at 40 and be thinking, what the fuck did I do with my life? Wow, sitting right here in front of you. Okay, in my head, that sounded a lot more like a compliment than it did just now coming out of my mouth. You are making a change. You're going through a transition. You had a major career. You were very successful. And now you want something else. I respect that. I don't think you know how good you have it. Gee, when you say it like that, it does sound like a dream job. It is a dream job. There's more to life than sex and drugs and stroking your fucking ego, okay? Before you know it, you're walking around like a zombie trying to feed an endless craving for sex and drugs. And you're insane. I worked an Acropolis party last weekend. A what party? An Acropolis party. Acropolis? Never heard of it. It's a private porn star stripper thing. It sounds like my idea of the afterlife. There's lap dances, a champagne room. Is there champagne in the champagne room? No. Just tolerance and desperation. You know, I'm really pissed at you right now. Part of the perks of being besties with Rod Driver is that I'm supposed to know about this type of shit in advance. Right. It's an email invite list. I'll make sure to get you on that, you know, list. All I can think about is porn stars and strippers walking around with their dicks out. <laughs> yeah, I know that's a lot for you to process right now. Um, so, totally off topic, what do you know about women? About as much as I know about the state of affairs in Israel. I need some straight friends. Ew! Liv and I had a fight. Liv's the makeup chick. Yeah. Every time we get close, she just throws up the walls. About what? About how she's basically unavailable. Boyfriend? She just won't let me in. What I do know about women is that you're sounding like one right now. Okay. So she's out and you're doing lap dances. Slamming whiskey shots and doing bumps with Julian Massey. He has a beautiful cock. Yeah, he's cool. But we got twisted. Uh-huh. That's it. We got twisted. Uh-huh. Do you have a man crush on Julian Massey? Don't be a douche. You have a man crush on Julian Massey. That's pretty douchey. Hey, bro. What's up? You didn't respond to any of my texts. So, so the plot thickens. What are you doing? I'm so high right now. I just want to get naked with you. Now is not a good time. Are you kidding me? Hey, Jay, I'll talk to you later. Look, uh, I think someone wants me to set up a meeting with a certain someone, so a person might want to hightail it out of here. Fine. I gotta go train an asshole anyway. <laughs> what are you on? G. And T. Great. Hey, Mrs. J. Hey. Ryan. Let's 
go. You want some G? I tend to stay away from the drugs that only begin with initials. G, E, K, T, what's left after that? Weed. <laughs> You're so old school. It's gonna high and fuck. I have to work tomorrow. That's hours away. <clears throat> Why are you partying at two o'clock in the afternoon on a weekday? Because I'm young and free and feeling sexy. You're a dork. Are you happy? Right now, I'm the happiest I've ever been. Yeah, that's the G talking. <sighs> Can I ask you a serious question? Are you writing a book or something? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm writing a book. It's called, I was a porn star, now what? What? Why do you do it? Do what? Porn. I like it. You like it? I like it. I can always tell when guys recognize me. Their eyes get really intense and focused. I'm sure they're doing nasty things to me in their fucked up little heads. <laughs> So you do it for the attention? It's not for the money. I have to escort and dance sometimes. The trifecta. Porn, escorting, stripping. Get high with me. You ever think about doing something else? Every fucking day. But you like it? Shut up and get naked. I want to do a hit. You mean a dose? All right, a, a dose. Drink it. I've always liked archaeology. Okay. Where did that come from? Oh, from when I asked you like yeah. seven hours ago. <laughs> nice. Okay, well, I, um, I was obsessed with um, Raiders of the Lost Ark. <laughs> so I can relate. <laughs> I used to think I was gonna travel the world Searching for a lost artifact. Little did I know I was gonna travel the world with Asian artifacts. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm old, I'll be able to say millions of men beat off in the dark looking at pictures of me on a computer screen. That's what I call a legacy. <laughs> <laughs> You're a mess. I stopped fighting who I was years ago. People don't change. They just become more themselves.
Hello? Is this Ryan Crosby? I think I should do a side call. Yes, it is. Uh, uh, give me a sec. This is Lorraine Munson. Who? Lorraine Munson from Harbor House. Harbor House? Your mother, Lena Crosby, is here with us? Uh, right. Um, Harbor House. Right. That's a horrible name for a rehab center. That's because it's a women's shelter, Mr. Crosby. It's safe harbor for victims of domestic violence. Look, I don't have time to discuss the ins and outs. Lena had an accident. She's going to be fine, but she's asking for you, and I think you should come. Um, I don't know. I have a, a pretty tight schedule this week. <laughs> I suggest you loosen it up. Your mother needs you. Now get off your ass and get on a train. Okay, all right, I'll see what I can do. Lovely. I gotta go, I think. <laughs>